Hi, my name is Greg. I'm coming from Waco, Texas. After building several, several show cars over the last 20 years, I decided to see if I could build a few guns along the way. This is my little shop here. Air conditioning, of course, coming from Texas. A little press, a few little odds and end tools, uh, compressor in the corner, refreshment refrigerator. My latest build is going to be my rendition of an M40A5 or A2 or A3, just depending on who you talk to. Um, it's going to be based off of uh, Remington 700 AAC SD action and barrel, 20 inch barrel threaded. Which this will be the home of a Gemtech HVT quick mount. Um, impressed with the stock, the aluminum bed in here is fantastic as you can see I got it mocked up the receiver is torqued down the barrel is actually hand tied um, paper towel test cheap paper towel come right through no problem no tears excellent barrel channel Mars rail for mock up which I may or may not use it is the perfect link give it a robust look depends on how scope height is going to be with the lowest rings that I can put on it. Um, got an icon 4x16x42 coming with the uh, bullet drop reticle, BDC reticle, uh, specifically for a 308 165 grain. Um, significant amount of time went into fitting the stealth bottom metal. This is a uh, Accuracy International 10 mag stagger box. Um, with a week of heart. I don't recommend that you uh, start milling into a $400 stock, but that's uh, what I like to call no guts, no glory. As you can see, the stock's been taken apart. I'm going to try to either I make or purchase some shouldered. Uh, thumb screws for the for the cheek weld overall impressive as far as the box is concerned turned out really nice waiting on a tub bolt I don't like the sloppiness of the factory bolts I like this gun to shoot one inch circles at 100 yards and three inch circles at 400 I don't know if it's possible with a one in ten twist We'll just have to wait and see. Not particularly fond of the gray web on the black. I'll be do my rendition of an urban camo. Um, this particular gun will be called the Guardian. I have an engraver mainly used for my trust information on other guns, but I will engrave it right here, the Guardian. Um, the bolt in itself, the action I like, um, as you can see, I've done some cleaning up and some filing. The bolt, after polishing on the bolt a little bit, I realized that I did not particularly like the sloppiness of the bolt. Um, that's why I have a tub bolt, PTG bolt, try to tighten up the groups and close down the head space. Ironically enough, the head space on this action will close on a go and a no-go gauge, which is 4,000 difference between the two, but it will not close on a field gauge. So it is usable like is. If you ever have a gun that won't close on a field gauge, you need to get that professionally looked at. Um, the blue tape on top is just to index the center line of the barrel since it is loose. Um, it is loose, it's just a reference part, but like I said, the, res the receiver itself is torqued down. Give a quick look at the box work on the bottom here. Turned out fairly nice. Not sure if I'm actually going to bed the action um, or not, or if I'm going to bed the bottom metal or not. I kind of like the aluminum bedding on this. It's it's really nice. Um, that's about all I have time for right now. I figured I'd bring you into uh, my one of my latest builds, and it's called the Guardian. Thanks for watching.